Fellow Blues, not a good news from the Chelsea camp. Kopama is likely going to miss our game against Arsenal tomorrow. And also, Thiago Silva has been confirmed that he will be leaving Chelsea come the end of the season. While for the good news, John Terry has been inducted into the Hall of Fame. All this will be coming up during the course of this video and also looking at our game against Arsenal tomorrow. So if you are a Chelsea fan, you are a lover of football, please go on to share this video, like this video and also leave a comment below. Thank you. Alright, fellow Blues, tomorrow, 23rd of April 2024, we will be looking forward to bounce back from our defeats in the ends of Manchester City. It was a narrow defeat, but it rendered us trophyless for the season. So the only thing which we have to fight for now is finishing for a European spot. That is, either we finish for the 6th or 7th position. But it will be very okay if we can finish for the 6th position, which will guarantee us automatic qualification to Europa League. Though I know a lot of rivals fans will say, Chelsea, we are not begging for European sports. Yes, as it stands, we are begging for European sport. This is not how we planned out this season, but it turns out to be like this. After so much money was spent, so many players were uh, are bought after the acquisition of the club by the new owner. We found ourselves in this situation with inconsistency, uh, injury crisis, Mauricio Pochettino tactics continue to be questioned, and so many things affecting our darling football club, Chelsea. But for now, our focus and attention remains on tomorrow's game coming up against Arsenal. According to the statistics which we are having on paper, that game is not in our favour in any way. Because the last time we were able to come as victorious against Arsenal was in 2022 and we managed to win that game 4 goals to 2. So far, so good all this while we've been losing against Arsenal. The most recent which we've come very close against Arsenal was the first leg this season EPA encounter against Arsenal. We had two goals up in the 83rd minute, but Robert Sanchez gifted the ball to Declan Rice, who scored a 35 yards screamer. And also, Leandro Trossard added the last goal, which made it 2 2. Uh, that saw our London rivals Arsenal escaping from Stamford Bridge with a point. So, coming to tomorrow's game is going to be an important London derby game. Not the regular derby. Tomorrow's own is going to be an important one because both teams are fighting for survival. Arsenal are looking forward to maintain their top their their top spot on the EPA, though they remain standing out pending on when City play their game in hand. So Arsenal will be looking forward to maintain that spot if they can get three points against Chelsea. While for way on the other hand, Chelsea will be looking forward to see if we can a snatch all three points back to West London. So, go over to the comment section to let me know if you think we have any chance ahead of tomorrow's game. But for the bad news ahead of tomorrow's game, it's not a good one, according to Mauricio Pochettino this afternoon following his press conference. The Argentina has confirmed that um, Copama is through that. Though there is still chance for Copama to be part of tomorrow's game, that is, he needs to be assessed. If he will be fully fit to travel with the rest of Chelsea players to North London. So, for me, I don't know if this is a mind game or if Kopama is truly he. According to the report, he's hurt with illness, not injury. He's hurt with illness. So, who knows if Kopama can get well soon before tomorrow. He may be part of the Chelsea players who will be traveling to North London and continue his fine form. Uh, currently on 20 goals alongside Ellen Allen, fighting for the Golden Boots. So, we hope Kopama will be able to recover before tomorrow's game to see how far and be part of our squad tomorrow against Arsenal. Meanwhile, the likes of Ben Chiu has also been ruled out for tomorrow's game. According to Mauricio Pochettino, the English left back has been struck with injury once again. So far, so good this season. It has been up and down for uh, Ben Chiu. It has only been good for our team. But for tomorrow's game, we may not really miss the England international that much because Korea has been on fine form since returning back from injury. He has been showing the prowess, the kind of ability which we saw during his days at Brighton. He's having one of the best games in his career currently with Chelsea. So for that mm -hmm. left-back position, Kukwea will be uh, fully fit to take that spot. We wish Ben Chiu a quick recovery and we hope to have both Rhys James and Ben Chiu back to the squad probably next season. Because I doubt if Ben Chiu will be able to, sorry, I doubt if Rhys James will be able to wear the blue jersey as far this season is consigned. Then for 
a right back position man Augusto has also been ruled as that's not the good news from the Chelsea camp according to our coach he's out with ligament injury which he suffered against Manchester City so tomorrow against Arsenal uh, Maurice Pochettino may be forced to use the makeshift right, right back in the person of De Sassi. Though De Sassi is not a natural right back, it's more of like a natural central back because it lacks pace and that ability for a progressive play. So for De Sassi to face the likes of Gabriel Martinelli tomorrow, Leonardo Trosa, these are players who could be played the Arsenal left wing. So it's not going to be an easy one for the French international and also for our game tomorrow. So we hope Mauricio Pochettino can make a twist, take the Arsenal's team on our way to see how far we were able to curtail the Arsenal's defense. While for our central back position, we are left with very few options. The likes of Wesley Fofana has been out with a lot of persons even forgetting if Wesley Fofana is still a Chelsea player. He's still a Chelsea player. We are hoping for Wesley Fofana to return back next season stronger. But for now, the likes of Kobe continue to be out. The likes of Ben Obama, she is not available for selection. So the only two central back who is fully who is fully fit senior players are uh, Chaloba, who has been fantastic since returning back from his injury, Thiago Silva. But there's a concern for Thiago Silva because of his age, it's not easy for the Brazilian to play two games in space of four days. So probably Chelsea may be forced to use Thiago Silva come tomorrow. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe Thiago Silva may be on the bench tomorrow and probably somebody else may just be taking that position. But for our goalkeeping position, it remains Petrovic for the starting position because Robert Sanchez continues to a nurse injury, still on rehabilitation. And for our midfield, Galaga is fully fit, Fernandez is fully fit, after his illness is fully fit. Return for the game against Manchester City, Moses Casado is fully fit. Wide likes of Leslie Gotuku and Romulavia continue to be ruled out due to injury. For attacking units, we are hoping that Ryan Stanley can get a starting opportunity tomorrow after his heinous. Or probably Mikhail Mudrik, who scored a goal against Arsenal and during the first leg. So these are both players who would be filling an attacking position in the absence of the likes of a Hammer. Then Kani Chukwemeka could be getting enough game time tomorrow. Then for our right wing, Noni Madweke is fully fit and probably Noni Madweke could be starting tomorrow against Arsenal. So this will form a very good run of our game for Noni Madweke who has not really been getting enough game time. So this is opportunity for Noni Madweke to show us his ability. If he can be a player that we Chelsea fan and the Chelsea coaching staff can trust come next season. While for the top nine position, Nicola Jackson remains the only senior striker apart from David Washington who could be making uh, the bench. According to Pochettino from his um, statement yesterday, he continues to support Nicola Jackson and continue to back Nicola Jackson. So that's to tell you that the clamor from Chelsea fan, the cry from Chelsea fan that they want Nicola Jackson to drop following his. Uh, uh, bad performances for this why not ability not to score goal though his link up play is fantastic but the senegalese international is not scoring goals missing open opportunity so so many persons have been calling for the dropping of nicola jackson but i can boldly tell you that nicola jackson will be starting our game tomorrow against asthma except otherwise so fellow blues kindly go on to drop your match prediction below and moving on from our game against Arsenal tomorrow, according to reports which we've gotten that it has not been confirmed that Thiago Silva will be departing Chelsea from the end of this season. The Brazilian international who joined us during the 2020-21 uh, season under Frank Lampard as a free agent from PSG has really contributed a lot to our team, winning the Champions League, the Super Cup and I swear the Club World Cup. It's going to be a great miss for the Brazilian because he has been so immense to our team in terms of leadership off and on the pitch. Thiago Silva has been one man who has been so consistent despite his age, 39 years old. He has had fewer injuries than any of Chelsea players currently. If Thiago Silva is still able to play matches up to uh, 30 matches in a season, 40 matches in a season, that's a big plus for the Brazilian for a 39 years old why the likes of Wesley Fafana who seems to be far far younger player continue to struggle with injury that is why sometimes we'll say the life not balance however we wish Wesley Fofana uh, a, a, a quick recovery 
and hopefully we can have the likes of West, Wesley Fofana and probably Chelsea signing other strikers to fill in that boot that will be led, sorry, that will be left by uh, the Brazilian veteran defender. So we wish Thiago Silva and his family where they really contributed to our team Chelsea. It's going to be a big miss for our fan base to the coaching staff and to the, even the entire Chelsea players so with the Brazilian way then all of the good news coming up from the Chelsea camp is that our iconic central back John Terry has been inducted into the Premier League Hall of Fame that is as one of the greatest players who has ever graced the Premier League it's a well-deserving one for John Terry a captain a leader and also a very reliable player that we can that we did trust on during his playing time at Chelsea. He was a captain, he was a leader, and he was that fighter which you can ever imagine or which you can ever wish to don our blue jersey. It's a pride on our part. The other day it was Ashley Cole, then Peter Check. So we hope more players from Chelsea will be inducted into the Hall of Fame. So fellow Blues and lovers of Chelsea, our focus remains on tomorrow's game against Arsenal. We'll be travelling to North London. It's not going to be an easy encounter, as I earlier said, with all odds in the favour of Arsenal. Who knows, we can be pulling up upset against Arsenal tomorrow to see how far we can add further salt to their injury by claiming all three points at the Emirates. So can you go on to let me know your match prediction below and also share your opinion below if you think the absence of Kupama may really disrupt our game tomorrow or probably a poster the rest of Chelsea players to play the game for Chelsea and also play the game for Kupama who will be out with Ines. Thank you fellow Blues and lovers of Chelsea for always joining me I remember Alex. Please do well to share this video, like this video and also don't forget to invite people to this page and to this channel. Bye for now.